Oh, just a little bit of it. All he had to do was find the gap and he did it really well, Martin Gabriel. Yes, Gabriel. Just sat in his deep in his crease a little bit there. Just waiting for, for the ball to get past him. So he can find that gap behind point. Look at that. A lovely, lovely shot. It's going to bounce just once before it crosses the boundary. I didn't try to do too much with it. Chakrabarty just getting a bit too full there. Yep, we'll just stand in the crease. It's excellent batting. No premeditation where the ball's going to be. Just over. One of those is. Just over. Wouldn't have had it with the field that was on the edge of the circle either. As it turns out, he was a little in, but we're clear. Man, up to Putting pressure on Boomer. Using his feet, walking out the bowl, but also then swinging through hard. Look at that. Excellent, excellent. Really putting the pressure on Boomer. And you can see the ball is just going through nicely there. Gaptul's got some nice confidence the ball is going to come through. He can just swing through the line of the ball. Should be taken. Put on underneath it. Oh, oh just popped up for a brief moment, but that shot did up one. And he completes it eventually over here for Boomer. New Zealand lose one. And Martin Gaptul's got to go over for 20. Change of pace, so hard to pick up. Pick, pick it up so late. He's just out Fox Martin Gaptul and shuttle back up. Oh, no juggle. Safe enough. <laughs> Boomer, yes, very thankful. It's a nice little innings from Gaptul 20. New Zealand 24 for one. Absolutely pure from Daryl Mitchell. Pulling with an aggressive field, and that's something which India has to do, must do, if they're trying to get wickets. Milan up in the circle. That's good stroke as well. A little punch to the bottom hand, another boundary. Splendid, 10 in 3 balls. Cracking along here on this rampant New Zealand side. Yeah, just one shot from Daryl Mitchell and Ravindra Jadeja's last two deliveries. The lengths have altered. It's forced. Again, again into the surface. And this time he finds the gap on the offside. Is that a fair reflection you were left on spinning yourself? That once you've been hit over the top by overpitching, you tend to underpitch consciously.